It's the ride, y'all. Come on, we're going on the ride. It's the ride, y'all. Come on, I know you want to ride. It's the ride, y'all. Come on, we're going on the ride. It's the ride, y'all. It's the ISC ride. All right, some bonus tracks. Master Ace Incorporated sitting on Chrome LP, yeah. the Chrome Vinyl, which is a promo-only vinyl from back in the day. Shout and out to Carmelita. Thank yeah. you. Word. Everybody yeah. doesn't have that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Ace, we asked you what cut you'd like to hear off of this, and you picked the Fat Cat Ride. I did. Which is a INC Ride remix, right? It, let's, let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> it. So this is actually the original version of INC Ride. Ah, uh, produced by uh, Louis Fat Cat. Yeah. Which was a super dope, super jazzy, kind of Jay Dilla vibes. He had, yeah. the, he had the, you know, um, the Rhodes kind of sounds going on. And this version was dope to me. I love this version. Delicious Vinyl was like, it's cool, but we should do a remix, something that maybe can get on the radio. So I went in and remixed it with this, uh, using the Isley Brothers sample. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they heard that version, they were like, this is the single. Yeah. <laughs> and they literally turned this original version into the remix. This wasn't the remix. Yeah. The, the version uh, everyone knows that played on the radio was yeah. the real remix. Uh, there's another one with like the loose ends sample too, right? Let's, see, let's talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. All let's right. go. Please. So shout to my man Mike Ross from Delicious Vinyl, the Ross brothers, Rick yeah. and Mike. But yeah. you know, Mike Mike fancied himself to be a little bit of a producer. He really wanted to be a producer, I think, deep down, and he wanted to be a creative. He felt that he was, and so he actually did that Loose Ends remix yeah. okay. without consulting with me at all. Like, like they literally, he went, he, he got it created, made it, threw it on the 12-inch, and then I heard him like, what is this? I, you know, I just figured this would be kind of cool, just like a different mix. I'm like, yo, you can't be just making records yo, without talking to me. Like, like, I was like heated. I was heated. Yeah. Wow. But that was the label kind of, you know, just yeah. doing, we're going to do this. He'll, he'll love it. He'll love it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, this, I was just, I was just, I was just <laughs> like, Warren, uh, uh, I remember on Word Up, you used to, when we do it live, you used to take all three versions uh -huh. and like you'd do a verse from each Mix one. Mix one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like in, in the set, it was pretty I dope. was a big Loose Ends fan yeah. too. So yeah, that's a yeah. great song. And what was your what was your uh, your story, Warren? You said you had a. I just remember when you guys came to Vegas. And oh yeah. I, I can't remember Carmelita's with you or not, but yeah. I had um, I had really not had a really good relationship with the pop radio station here at the time. Yeah. And um, Born to Roll was on here, right? Yeah. 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 So so um, I had a really good relationship, and I was like, you have to play this. I was telling them, PD, I was like, you have to play this. Like, he, and he'd listen to me and I, you know, quote unquote, sell records. And he was just like, I don't know. I said, just put it on, turn it up. I said, okay, no, turn it up a little louder. Turn it up. So the bass was like popping in speaker. Yeah. And then somebody's son came in the room, was like, what's this? I like this. Yeah. And I remember looking at Cat Tom. I remember looking at Cat Tom. See, see, I told you. Yeah. So he's like, okay, we're going to battle it tonight. You know, and we'll, if it does, you know, every weekend we'll just play it. I said, perfect, dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you guys came to town, signed. I have that record. You guys signed it. I took it around in Vegas. I can't remember if we did a show or not. I can't remember. There, there, there was a show. Yeah. I can't, yeah. And it was gang infested. Yeah. I don't even think I got to perform because there was so many fights breaking out. I think in the you're audience. right. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. I was like, what's happening here? Yeah. Like the room was like separated. It was like blood's on this side of the room. Crips on this 90s. side. 90s. Yeah. But it was like fights breaking out. I don't even think I ever got to rock. It was wild. I, I don't think yeah, it was all ages. I can't, I can't yeah. remember. It. Yeah, but I, I do remember there. that. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah but, yeah. but also, um, you guys did come up to the Word Up show, the KUMV Word Up show. Yeah. And uh, if, if you guys look on mixcloud.com slash word up 915, you can find the episode. Oh, Word? Yeah, with um, okay. yourself. I would like to see Yeah, that. Lord yeah. Digga and uh, Paula Perry. Okay. Um, and then speaking of that era, how about this? Oh my the Master Ace sitting on Chrome. Wow, the uh, Triple X uh, uh, bikini, bikini version. Of, yeah, of, of, what's going of, on here, Ace? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you talking about. I was yeah. young. I was wild. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely nudity in there. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it gets a little raw. Yeah. This was awesome. this was actually a really this was probably the era when you said that you thought everyone thought you moved to L.A. Yeah, this is definitely yeah. the era. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but this was like I remember talking to Carmelita a lot about this, and this was like this was really. Um, I don't know how big influential it was for your career, but for on the West Coast, like you were really soaking in the car culture yeah. at this yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I thought I always thought it was a really good move because it expanded your audiences. The song was still dope. Yep. I didn't know what it did over on the East Coast, but you it, know, I was so was hard backlash. into promoting. Yeah, yeah. I was so hard into yeah, promoting yeah. and I was like, Oh, this is good, this is good, this will work for him. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I mean it was a, a, a well thought out plan. 
you know, the success of my single Born to Roll is is what gave birth to this entire album. Right. Yeah. And the movement, the fo- the cover, everything about it. Uh, uh, because Born to Roll was so successful, they were like, this car culture thing. Yes. You're already into the stuff, so why don't you just do like a car culture record? Right. That's Mike Ross talking to my <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And I went back in the studio and I came up with what I thought would be the perfect compromise of yeah. kind of Brooklyn drums yeah. and beats, but, you know, accessibility to the West Coast audience. Mm-hmm. And that's what this album uh, was all about. Yeah, and it's uh, it's interesting because it's a it's it's key to the blueprint of your career in terms of like you always doing those concept albums, but you know from yeah. Slaughterhouse to this to yep. you know Long Hot Summer, everything. I mean, yeah. a, a lot of your stuff has been in, rooted in that concept album. Yeah, it all kind of started with yeah Slaughterhouse for to a certain extent, but the yeah. storytelling aspect of the skits started on this album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Master Ace sitting on Chrome, the Chrome vinyl. <laughs> 